Hello. Hello, I'm Rob. And I'm Nat. And we are the founders and general doers of Forefront Theatre. Yeah, so we are a Christian charity and professional theatre company who work all over the UK, uh, touring Christian productions in four main areas, in theatres, churches, schools and prisons. And we do performances in theatre that put faith at the forefront. Hence a snazzy little title. Mm -hmm. Now, currently, you may be aware that there are certain restrictions on the way that we do life at the minute. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, if you're not, then how? <laughs> you, you must already be social distancing. You're living under a rock or something. <laughs> Yeah, so we were actually in the middle of two tours when the lockdown hit. We had a team uh, touring Fisherman's Tale in Scotland and a team touring Fisherman's Tale in England and both of those had to be cancelled, unfortunately. We had over 90 performances booked in. We only got about 40 of them mm. done. We're hoping to rearrange once some form of normality might resume. Yeah, and that wasn't the only tours that we had to cancel. We've had to cancel a few other uh, events and conferences and sadly our prisons tour of Beyond Bars as well has had to be cancelled. Indeed, it's going to have a knock-on effect on the rest of the year as well. Mm. Who knows what the future is going to look like for Forefront Theatre. However, even though we are stuck in lockdown, mm -hmm. we are excited to be involved in Living Room Fest. In Living Room. <laughs> Yeah, because we've actually done the Cheltenham Christian Arts Festival a few times, haven't mm -hmm. we, Rob? First with Reckless Abandon, and then we did it again with Fisherman's Tale. Yeah, and every time we do it normally, it's quite hard work because we have to get our sets and our actors and our costumes and everything and set up. But this is quite nice, In actually. The living room. Yeah, just no it. set. No tea. Just easy. No yeah. tech. I mean, there's tech, but not yeah, loads of tech. Not loads so. of tech. Yeah, this is pretty good. So, for Living Room Fest, we would like to welcome you to At Home with Forefront. Now, Forefront Theatre has always been pretty musical. Odds are, if you're seeing a Forefront show, at some point, someone might burst into song. Yeah, whether that's one of our actual musicals, or one of our pantos, or even the work that we do in prisons. There's music in it all. So today, we're going to highlight some of the music of Forefront. Mm, so you're going to see some snippets from some of our shows, as well as some special lockdown performances, and... And we're going to show you an exclusive sneak preview of one of the songs from our upcoming new musical, The Other Judas. Disciples. So stick around until the end of the video to make sure you catch that. So for now, sit back, put your feet up, relax, and enjoy At Home With Forefront. <laughs> So to kick off the performances today, we're going to show you a song from our musical Fisherman's Tale. Now Fisherman's Tale is one of our main shows, it's a show that we perform the most times, and it is a musical about the life and miracles of Jesus mm -hmm. from the perspective of the fisherman disciples. And, and it's a good show, it, it's a fun show. It's... It is a good show, but you are a little bit biased because you wrote it. Uh, well, yeah, but Church of England Understanding Christianity Primary School RE Syllabus Recommended Resource, just saying. <laughs> Now, of course, we can't do the whole show, but we can show you one of the songs as a special lockdown performance. This song is called Surprise. Uh, just to give a bit of context, this happens after Jesus has died and Mary goes to visit his tomb and finds it empty. And she's crying. Doesn't quite matter when or who. Nope. There's one thing that they all they do. All do it. There's an old beggar, queen or king. They all seem to do a pretty similar thing. Uh, Ooh. Here, let's give it a little go, shall we? Woman, why are you crying? No. Nope. I'm still terrified. <laughs> Surprise! You're meeting an angel, a messenger from God himself. I don't dwell on the shop, because you'll find that it's not a positive influence on your health. So chill out. Surprise yourself. Count to ten. We'll take a seat. Some water. A deep breath and day. We can have a little chat. Woman, why are you crying like that? Not yet, just a bit more time. Go on, take it all in. You're a divine. But the longer you sit there gaping and gawking, the longer it takes for us to really start talking. We need an engaged audience here, love, alright? Surprise! You're meeting an angel. Get it together, we don't want to shout. It's a problem with mortals. They get stuck in a day. It, it takes, takes ages to get 
the message out. But I'm happy to wait at the end of the day to ensure that they hear what we've got to say. So never mind that it might be trying. Woman, why are you crying? There we go, that wasn't too hard Sorry for catching you off guard Surprise, Surprise you're meeting me an angel And this angelic being saying do not fear You should all journey back to Galilee See, long story short, Jesus ain't here Tell all the disciples up the mountain they'll be met Jesus isn't finished with those boys yet so that's our message, John. Thanks for listening, Miss. You thought we were shocking. Wait till you see this. Surprise! Jesus! Just to clarify, I don't normally play Mary. Yeah, normally, it is one of the four fishermen who plays Mary, and the audience decides which. So it changes each show, mm -hmm. keeps us on our toes. <laughs> So for our next performance, we're going to change tact a little bit and we're going to show you a piece from another show we do, Reckless Abandon. Mm, Reckless Abandon is the true and inspiring story of Elizabeth Elliot and the Operation Alka missionaries who were out in Ecuador in the 1950s. It's a very moving story and it is very different to Fisherman's Tale. Yeah, Fisherman's Tale has its moving moments. You wrote it, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so for the more moving Reckless Abandon, which Nat wrote, <laughs> uh, I hope you really enjoy it. Uh, and one of the things that really makes the emotional impact hit home is, is the music which accompanies it, which oh, I wrote. Yeah. So please do enjoy uh, whoever arranged this choral arrangement of It Is Well from Reckless Abandon. Started, music has been an important part of our identity, even going right back to our very first show, The Jesus Story. Jesus, isn't like G suspended because it's like a guitar chord the show is about. So, the show focuses on a busker plays guitar um, in Jerusalem who wanted to write a couple of songs and cash in on the fame of this new miracle worker who showed up in town. So, uh, yours truly will be performing a lockdown performance of Whistle Stop Tour. Enjoy!
Uh, thank you very much. That was Wonderwall. Uh, thank you to the woman with the shopping bags for joining in. <laughs> uh, right, I've got one more song. Uh, this one's one of mine. It's a new song, and it's all about Jesus of Nazareth. Uh, you may have heard of him in the papers. If you haven't, well, uh, you will after this. Born in Bethlehem, raised as a carpenter, a pretty normal family in a pretty normal town. Well, except for the fact that he's got another father, and one of them's the most important guy around. Jesus of Nazareth, born in a stable, born of a virgin, so they say. Something of a history behind this fella, let me tell you what he's done leading up to today. In this whistle stop tour. from getting lost in his father's house Jesus started making waves in the river Jordan Getting baptised by that bloke John the Baptist The camel hair wearing locust eating crazy one That guy There was a light in the sky and a dove fell on his head They heard the voice of God It was all quite a fuss Then he disappeared for 40 days and nights Spent the devil was an angel in the wilderness Through fish and fig trees Jesus gave disciples and many types of people Decided to follow the man preaching and teaching and miraculously altering the alcoholic content of H2O. Jesus of Nazareth, born in a stable, born of a virgin, or so they say. Something of a history behind this fella. Let me tell you what he's done leading up to today in this whistle stop tour. Parable, shaming the Pharisees, Jesus as a teacher, you can't discount whether saving a woman from a stoning or delivering a beautiful sermon on the mount. Beautiful, got it, Jesus. Anyone? Am I? Love. Selfless and compassionate, forgiving sins and receiving nothing for his labor, spreading a new love centered mantra love your God and love your neighbor. Fixes that procedure with a hand and ankle sprain. The blind makes their sight regain. And even if you never make you live again, and his healing the paralyzes through the roof, he rebukes the storm and gives divine. Cuts out demons, cut by swine, feeding thousands and raising the dead. Walking on water, this life that he's led is amazing. When you tell it, in this whistle stop tour. Thank you. So, who were you talking to, Rob, when you were uh, doing that performance? Yeah, oh, I mean, it's like a bus in our living it? room. Yeah, I know. For living room fest. <laughs> I was being the a dog? bus. It's because... <laughs> so, even when the shows <laughs> aren't all singing and all dancing, uh, Forefront often uses music as an important part of the theatre we create. Yeah, so have a watch of this sketch that we did at Spring Harvest a couple of years ago. Footage courtesy of Spring Harvest. This is Timmy. One day, Timmy read a very special book. In the book, he learned lots of amazing things. And he read about how a man gave up his life to save the world. And on that day, Timmy gained a new friend. A new friend called Faith. Timmy loved his new friend Faith. And for a while, the two were inseparable. They did everything together and went everywhere together. And the more they did together, the more faith grew. And the more faith grew, the more little Timmy grew. But as Timmy grew older, he found there were times where he found it difficult to take faith with him everywhere.
and instead of making it work, he decided that sometimes he would leave Faith outside. But just for a moment, then they would be friends again. Yet as Timmy grew older and older, he found he would leave Faith out more and more. More and more, Faith would simply get in the way. In fact, sometimes Faith not only got in the way, but was a real buzzkill. And the more Faith got left out, the weaker Faith grew. Weaker and weaker. And weaker. Until one day, he simply wasn't there. Timmy had lost his friend, and he could either keep going as before, or he could try again, but differently this time. And so Timmy set about trying to find his old friend, Faith. Eventually, Timmy found Faith again. And this time, resolved to do things differently. Indeed, things were certainly different. It wasn't always easy, but he persevered. And as they worked together, Faith grew stronger and stronger once more. Because in the end, Faith is worth fighting for. Big hand. Thank you guys. Now we mentioned at the beginning that one of the tours we've sadly had to cancel is Beyond Bars, our prisons tour. Now this show entwines the story of a modern day prisoner with the biblical account of Paul and Silas and explores themes of faith, forgiveness and freedom. And we are gutted that we've had to cancel this one because mm -hmm. it is a great project to be involved with. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the responses that we get from the men, particularly grappling with the issue of forgiveness, is amazing. It's one of the most rewarding things that we do and it's a great ministry. So we're gutted that we can't do it. Yeah, so we thought we'd share with you the trailer that we made for this show, which features one of the songs from the show, Captivity. Taken from the wild at an early age A poacher in a white wig Locked me in a cage Tried to tame me with chapel and work activity But I'm a great white I can't survive in captivity Captivity Some species just don't do well in captivity I'm like a broken clock Cause I'm stuck with time I'm like a POW in the war on crime Give me a six digit code When they took all my gear Two for two on seven T's Like a tag on my ear It's gonna be a while Till my sentence is spent Cause they said that I did it With criminal intent But I did it accidentally I wasn't acting mentally I'm a knockoff smoothie I'm mostly innocent And that's men I'm bent on years of imprisonment I know I'm stuck here in it But it feels indiscriminate Where's my inquiry? There's no date in the diary And now my sentence is that Grandma's jam got no expiry In this captivity, captivity. This is my problem, I'm trapped here entirely in captivity.
So we've shown you quite a few songs which showcases the different stuff that the Forefront gets up to. But I, I don't feel like the songs and performances that we've shown, especially the lockdown ones, are a bit restricted. They don't capture some of the energy levels of Forefront. Yeah. They don't capture the sweat levels. I mean, that's probably a good thing. Oh, the sweat. <laughs> well, you've already seen the song Surprise from Fisherman's Tale, but we thought we'd show you another song from the show with a montage of clips from different performances over the years of Fisherman's Tale. So this is The Miraculous Catch. It's not quite that easy, Jesus. You see, when you fish by day, no fish you'll snare Cos when you lay out a net The fish sees it's there He knows that the mesh Will get stuck in his gills I'll give that a miss He swims off where he wills We, we toiled all night And we caught nothing You might know a lot But you don't know fishing So we fish by night They can't see in we leave it till sundown before we embark If you want your fish to sell to the punters Good fishermen are nocturnal hunters We toiled all night and we caught nothing You might be wise but you don't know fishing A whole night with no barbel No mushed or bindy not even a catfish, big or tiny. We laid out nets and laid out a line. Not a single tilapia, a little sardine. Sardine. We toiled all night and we caught nothing You might know your faith, but you don't know fishing But at your word, at your wishing Simon, this is a pointless exercise. Hey, get that net back in! Sorry, Jesus. Wait a minute. Simon! Look at that! Blow me down! It's a catch! Not just a catch, it's a net breaker! Boys, James, John, get over here, but, quick! But the competition! Oh, never mind the competition! If we don't get some help, we'll never get this lot in! Boy, can you fish? Oh my days, the sweat levels in that show, just in the waders. Just I have heard this so many times, such a complainer. Yeah, but seriously. <laughs> this is a uh, fisherman's tail costume. Yeah. Uh, this is a few days old, so it's surprising that it's still going to be here, but... This is the sweat from the show. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that is <Jacob>. grim! <laughs> okay, that's pretty gross. Hmm. So we've come to that point where our next performance is our last performance. Oh, we have no audience to all. Oh. Let me move fast. <laughs> it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Maybe not everyone's been waiting for it's it. It's the moment I've been waiting for. It is an exclusive, never before seen preview of a song from our upcoming brand new show. Drum roll, please. The Other Judas. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ladies and gents, we are the disciples. Disciples, disciples. Ladies and gents, we are the 12 disciples, handpicked followers of Jesus, 
trying our best to follow Jesus' example and to spread his good news. But unlike your average follower, we are the ones picked by Christ himself to be his closest companions. Yes, and we try not to let it get to our heads. We're all very different, working out just what he meant when he turned around and said, follow me. Different ideas and views, yet spreading the same good news. Maybe that's just how we're meant to be. Disciples working hardest as the disciples. Come on now, disciples. You see, we've all come together not for the sake of religion, not for the sake of politics or being important. But this radical Jesus has got some crazy new views. Just the right kind of crazy. Purpose, meaning, direction. Yeah, it's more than that. It's something that you feel in here. Something deeper. That's what brings us all together. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. <laughs> Despite our differences, our disagreements. Despite the pain in the backside, you can be sometimes, John. Jesus hey. has brought us together for something truly special. And for us, it's the only special that really matters. It's not just a vocation, it's a calling from the Lord. And we're not just on vacation. We're missionaries abroad And we're calling out to everyone To join this community Come disciple with me In one big dysfunctional disciple family One, three, four, five, eight, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve Learning every day Disciples Disciples, get on your knees and pray. Disciples, when it comes to Jesus, Jesus, no one quite like him. No one quite like him. With all sorts of folks to follow his teaching, there isn't really anyone who doesn't fit in. Which is good news for you, mate. Healing the leper, calming the storm, casting out demons, making blind eyes see. Challenging bigots Fighting injustice All with folks like you and me Trying to understand Trying to lend a hand Trying our best to be the best we can be Trying to discover him Trying to keep up with him We're surprised he's kept us round this long We're all very different Working out just what he meant When he turned around and said follow me Different ideas and views, yet spreading the same good news Maybe that's just how we're meant to be One, two, three, five, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve Completely thrown together Disciples Only unqualified Disciples Open to application Disciples Jesus doesn't want to stick it to twelve So, uh, hello, behind the screen Oh, you look just like a potential new convert. Dissimilar, I've told you about my friend Jesus. Disruptive, disgraceful, disappointing, disagreeing, disorganized, disoriented, disobedient, disassimilated, discovering how hard it can be. Yet you try your best, knowing Jesus chose a disciple. Like One, two, three, four, five, eight, seven, eight, six, disciples, twelve. Oh, it's so, it's so, it's so exciting! It's so good. Whoever wrote that, I just arranged <laughs> it for twelve. Oh, it's just. So this show, The Other Judas, is all about the 12 disciples, in case you didn't catch that from the song called <laughs> Disciples, <laughs> which counts to 12. <laughs> and, and it focuses on the often forgotten disciple, Judas. No, not that Judas. The other Judas. The show was going to be premiering, premiering, firsting, offing at the Edinburgh Fringe, but of course that's been cancelled as well, unfortunately. Yet, be excited, because that show is going to happen in some form or other this summer. And that is it from us. Thank you so much for joining us. We've had a really lovely time sharing some of what Forefront's all about, some of our performances with you guys. From our living room to your living room. Living room fest. 
If you want to follow us on social media and keep up to date with what we're up to, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, Forefront Theatre. And you can check out our website, www.forefront-theatre.com. So once again, thank you for joining us and enjoy the rest of Living Room Fest. In Living Room! Bye! <laughs>